Now, after years of Tamiflu being the go to flu treatment, now it's getting some competition. From the first sign of the flu, it's not long before you're out for the count. You can go to bed feeling fine and wake up in the middle of the night very sick. As a registered nurse and health department employee, special project supervisor, Sharon Goforth sees it all too often. Fever, headache, body aches, sore throat, runny or stuffy nose. All a patient wants is a little relief. For years, that's where this stuff, Tamiflu, has come in. It's a five day treatment. Um, got to take it within the first two days of getting symptoms. Now the go-to treatment for the flu has some competition. Zofluza, which is a single dose, take it all in one shot, um, also within the first two days of getting symptoms. One pill, one time. That's the biggest upside as far as pharmacist Philip Smith is concerned. Most people are terrible just like everybody else taking more than one time a day medicine. So one time, great. Of course, there are trade-offs. Price is always an issue. Without insurance, Zafluza will run you around $30 more than the cost of Tamiflu. Which isn't terrible, especially if you feel terrible. But if you're looking for the most cost-effective option. Free is good. A flu shot at a Hamilton County Health Department clinic won't cost you a dime. No excuse. No, once, once again, it's absolutely free. So Smith doesn't expect Zofluza to replace Tamiflu anytime soon, at least not until there's a generic version of it. When that happens, we'll let you know. Reporting live in Hickson, Allie Levine, News Channel 9. Allie, thank you. Unlike Tamiflu, Zofluza is not recommended for pregnant women or children under the age of 12. The pharmacist we spoke with says that's because those groups were not part of the study.